This story is taken from 2 Kings chapter 5 in the Old Testament and written by Wendy. Silly instructions. Draw hands on a clock. Keep your eye on the ball. Do not iron clothes on the body. Have you ever been given some instructions by your mum or dad or even your teacher that you thought were silly and didn't want to follow? Today we'll hear a story about a man who was given some instructions that didn't make sense to him. We've all felt unwell at some point. Most of the time medicine makes us better, but not always. Some sicknesses never go away and some diseases can last forever. Our story is about a man called Naaman and he had a disease that wouldn't go away. There was no cure. His disease was called leprosy, which gives a person bumps on the skin that looks like a bad rash. Back in Naaman's day, leprosy was a big deal. No one wanted to be around you because they were afraid they would get it too. Today we are going to hear how God healed Naaman's disease. Naaman wasn't an Israelite. He came from a country called Aram and his country had gone to battle against Israel. They were enemies. He was a top military commander, but he had leprosy and he wanted more than anything to be cured. But what could he do? Naaman's wife had a servant girl who lived with them and she came from Israel. The young girl felt sorry that Naaman was ill and told Naaman's wife about a prophet living in Israel who could cure leprosy. By the way, a prophet is someone who God speaks to. Then they share God's word with the people. Don't you think that was wonderful news for Naaman? Here was a chance that he could get healed of his leprosy. So he travelled to Israel and met with the king who was called King Joram. Naam brought with him a letter from the king of his own country instructing King Joram to cure him. But the king knew that he couldn't do anything to help Naaman as only God could do that. King Joram felt very upset. He even tore his robes as he thought it was a trap to start another fight with his country of Israel. But the prophet Elisha heard what had happened and sent a message to King Joram telling him to send Naaman to his house. So Naaman went to see Elisha. He didn't get the welcome he expected. Elisha didn't even go out of the house to say hello. He sent a messenger and said to, st to tell Naaman to go and wash himself seven times in the River Jordan and this would rid his skin of his leprosy. Now that wasn't the way Naaman had thought he would be healed. After all, he was a very powerful military leader. He had expected Elisha to come out and do some sort of healing ceremony. Maybe wave his hands over Naaman and call on the name of the Lord to heal him. He certainly didn't expect to go swimming in the dirty river Jordan. Naaman felt very angry. But his attendant stopped him and said, why not try doing it? What harm can it do? So Naaman did what Elisha told him. He went to the river and dipped himself in the water. And as he came out after the seventh time, the skin was healed. There was no leprosy left on his body. What a miracle. There was nothing special about the water. It was God who had healed Naaman's disease. That day, God showed his power to Naaman, who wasn't even an Israelite. But by going into the water, Naaman showed faith that God can do things that seem impossible to us. He returned to Elisha's house to say that he knew that God, the God of Israel was the one true God. Do you know that we all have a problem? One we can't see? That problem is sin where we do wrong things. God wants to cure our sin problem. We all need a healer and that healer is Jesus. We don't have to be washed in a river to be healed. We just have to know that Jesus is there to save us and then our sins are completely forgiven. 
So when you feel ready, you can ask God to forgive all the wrongs that you have done or thought and invite him to come into your life as your Lord and Saviour. Thank you.